Hello everyone, and welcome to Quantify's first presentation on the basics of calculating and estimating brickwork. In this presentation, we will discuss introductory brickwork terminology and cover the quantity calculation methods for the number of bricks in different brickwork bonds and orientations. Be sure to watch our other brickwork presentations for further information on brickwork takeoffs and various brickwork cost analyses. Before we start, let's briefly touch on some brickwork terminology. The top and bottom surfaces of a brick are known as beds. Ends, or narrow surfaces, are called headers, or header faces. Sides, or the long surfaces are called stretchers, or stretcher faces. Mortar between bricks, placed horizontally under, or above the bed of the brick, is referred to as, the mortar bed. Mortar placed vertically between bricks, is commonly referred to as, a perp end. Brickwork, as an element in construction, consists of bricks, mortar to bind the bricks together, wire ties, and labor required to build the wall. Sundry items, such as reinforcing, and waterproofing are often required in brickwork, but will be dealt with elsewhere. When referring to dimensions in brickwork, there are two common terms, namely, coordination dimensions, which refers to the size of the brick, including, the mortar allowed to various sides. Nominal dimensions, referring to the actual size of the brick only. Brick linings, are referred to as, skins, or leaves. Wall skins, are as thick as the header dimension of a brick, but if reference is made to a one brick wall, then the wall is as thick as the stretcher length of the brick. Walls are named for the number of skins they contain. A single skin wall, is referred to as, a half brick wall. A wall with two skins, built up against each other, a one brick wall. Cavity walls, allow for a hollow space between two skins. A three skin wall is called, a one and a half brick wall. Pointing, refers to the profile of the mortar joint to be completed after the wall is built. The profile to be used can be aesthetic, or as a weather protection method. Two common examples of pointing are Flush pointing, where the mortar is finished flush with the brick face. Recessed pointing, where the mortar is raked out to a prescribed depth. Joining, is the term used for the finishing method of the mortar joint. Joining, unlike pointing, is usually carried out during the construction of the wall, not after. Bricks, are classified based on the way they have been laid, and, by the visible face relative to the observable wall. Let's look at a few examples. Below, is a list of common brick orientations. Stretcher course, a brick laid flat, with a stretcher face exposed. Header course, a brick laid flat, with the header face exposed. Soldier course, a brick laid vertically, with the stretcher face exposed. Row lock, or brick on edge, a brick laid on its edge, with the header face exposed. To calculate the number of bricks for various brickwork bonds and orientations, the following information is required. The dimensions of the brick, that is, the length, width, and height. And, the thickness of the mortar joints. For this presentation, let's assume the nominal brick dimensions are, 220 mm long, by 110 mm wide, by 75 mm high, with a mortar thickness of, 10 mm. To calculate 1 meter of a brick on bed header course, we will divide 1 unit of measurement, in this case 1 meter, by the brick coordination dimensions. Therefore, 1 meter divided by, the 110 mm brick width, including 10 mm for a perpend. The formula will read as follows. 1 square meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.11 meters, plus 0.01 meters, close bracket. This equals, 8.33 bricks per meter, which we can round up to, 9 bricks per meter. To calculate 1 meter of a brick on edge header course, firstly, we must note that the orientation must change, as the bond refers to a brick on edge course. To do this, we must turn the brick onto its edge. You will note, the brick at its base, is now 75 mm wide, and the height 110 mm. After adding 10 mm of mortar to the brick as required, we can now calculate the number of bricks required per meter. The formula will read as follows, 1 square meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.075 millimeters, plus 0.01 millimeters, close bracket. This equals 11.76 bricks per meter, which we can round up to, 12 bricks per meter. To calculate the number of bricks in 1 square meter of brick work, let's consider this sketch. The sketch shows a half brick wall, that is, one skin of brickwork, built using the bond known as stretcher bond. The unshaded area shows the area of just one square meter of brickwork. The calculation for the number of bricks per square meter is as follows. 
one square meter, divided by the coordination dimension of one brick, that is, one brick including the mortar bed, and perpend. The formula is calculated as follows. One meter, multiplied by one meter, which equals one square meter. The one square meter, can then be divided by the size of one brick, including, the mortar bed, and mortar perp end. So using our assumption of a stretcher length of 220 mm, a height of 75 mm, and a mortar bed and perp end of 10 mm. The calculation is, 1 square meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.23 meters, multiplied by, 0.085 meters, close bracket. This amounts to 51.15 bricks, which we can round up to, 52 bricks per square meter. The number of bricks per meter square, can then be multiplied by the number of skins required per wall. Therefore, for stretcher bond brick walls, the following is applicable. A half brick wall made up of a single skin will remain at 52 bricks per square meter. A one brick wall made up of two skins will be multiplied by two, and amounts to 104 bricks per square meter. Lastly, a one and a half brick wall made up of three skins will be multiplied by three. The quantity being 156 bricks per square meter. Brick walls wider than three skins, can be multiplied by the number of skins required, and, by the number of bricks per square meter per skin. These thicker walls can also be measured in cubic meters, which we will deal with later. Let's consider a different bond. The sketch shows a one brick wall, that is, one skin, built using the bond known as English bond. This bond consists of alternating header, and stretcher courses. The calculation for the number of bricks per square meter, is slightly different than that for a stretcher bond. To calculate the number of bricks in a square meter of an English bond wall, we do the following. 1 square meter, divided by the coordination dimensions of 1 brick in a stretcher bond orientation, multiplied by 2 skins, plus, 1 brick in a header bond orientation, divided by 2. The formula will read as follows. Open big bracket, 1 square meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.23 meters, by 0.085 meters, close bracket, by 2, plus, 1 square meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.12 meters, by 0.085 meters, close bracket, close big bracket, divided by 2. This amounts to 100.17 bricks, which we can round up to 101 bricks per square meter. Another bond to consider is the Flemish bond. Flemish bond is different from English bond, as the wall consists of alternating header and stretcher bricks laid in the same course, rather than alternating per course. To calculate the number of bricks in a square meter of a Flemish bond wall, we do the following. 1 square meter, divided by the coordination dimensions of 1 brick in a stretcher bond orientation, multiplied by 2 skins, multiplied by 2 thirds, plus 1 brick in a header bond orientation, multiplied by 1 third. The formula will read as follows. Open big bracket, 1 square meter, multiplied by 2 thirds, divided by, open bracket, 0.23 meters, by 0.085 meters, close bracket, by 2, plus, 1 square meter, multiplied by 1 third, divided by, open bracket, 0.12 meters, by 0.085 meters, close bracket, close big bracket. This amounts to 100.88 bricks, which we can round up to 101 bricks per square meter. Where brick walls exceed 3 skins, we can measure, and calculate the brickwork in cubic meters. To do this, we add a third dimension to our equation. The calculation for the number of bricks per cubic meter is as follows. 1 cubic meter, divided by 1 brick using the coordination dimensions, that is, 1 brick, including the mortar bed, and perp ends to a stretcher face, and header face. The formula will read as follows. 1 cubic meter, divided by, open bracket, 0.23 meters, by 0.12 meters, by 0.085 meters, close bracket. This amounts to 426.26 bricks, which we can round up to 427 bricks per cubic meter. This formula can be used for mass brickwork structures, such as piers, plinths and chimneys etc. And that concludes Quantify's first presentation on introductory brickwork terminology, and brickwork quantity calculation methods, thank you for watching. Be sure to watch our other videos on the basics of brickwork, and various other topics in the built environment.